Hello, my name is Sophia McCullovitz. I'm a member of the Italian Community Center in Milwaukee. I have been uh, a member of the center for over 30 some years and now I am on the board of directors of the Italian Community Center. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make rigotta. Uh, it's very simple. We'll take the mystery out of how to make it. Uh, we will need uh, whole milk, a gallon of whole milk, and that will make about two pounds of rigotta. We will need a half a cup of white vinegar or lemon juice. Uh, we're going to be using um, heavy cream, which is optional because you can make the rigotta without the cream, but it just makes it uh, richer. And uh, you can also use that to make a cheese with later. So we just need those items to make the rigotta itself. We'll stir it with a wooden spoon. We'll be using a half cup measure for the vinegar. I use a slotted spoon to um, get it out of the pot after it's done and I will ladle it into a bowl. And what we will do is when the gotta is done, we will put that into a colander which will be lined with cheesecloth. Um, in the past, we've made homemade uh, gotta and we've made manicotti from scratch with crepes, and then we filled them with the homemade ricotta for our Taste of Italy event at the Italian Community Center. So I guess we're ready to proceed. Uh, we'll just take the pot to the stove and the milk and get started. Okay, so I've already put the heat on, and this is an electric stove. So with the electric stove, it'll take a little bit longer. Uh, the gas stove seems to be easier to uh, uh, view the heat and uh, you don't have to kind of guess it. So what we're going to do is be watching for the milk to come to a rolling boil. And maybe in about 15 minutes, we'll give it a stir to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan and we'll then just wait for the uh, half hour or so till it's done, and then we'll add the vinegar. As I said earlier, uh, we can also add cream, which is an option. So I'll pour some uh, heavy cream in here. This is the uh, pint, half pint size. And this will make the ricotta richer. And then if you should want to turn it into cheese, it'll have a more flavorful taste. So I'll just stir everything together and then we'll wait for about 15 minutes or so and then we'll stir it again and we'll see what the consistency is and how hot it has turned into. Okay, so this is 15 minutes that the uh, milk has been on the stove. So I'm stirring the bottom to make sure that nothing is sticking. Uh, the heat still seems to be at a good temperature and uh, it hasn't started uh, boiling. What we're looking for is a slow rolling boil and with the electric stove it may take a little bit longer. We're going to uh, check the progress of the uh, regatta here. Uh, the milk seems to have some bubbles on the side and I'm looking at the texture of the milk. It seems to have like little air pockets all over. If you can see, maybe the little discolorations here and there. And then the creaminess and the bubbles along the side here. So we're getting close. This is about, oh, maybe 20, 23 minutes that it's been cooking. So we need maybe about another five minutes and then it should be done. And then we'll add the uh, vinegar and stir it and um, let that set for a while. If after we've done that, uh, if the milk still looks uh, white as it does now, we may have to add a little bit more vinegar, but we'll determine that when we get to that point. Uh, we can line our colander with the um, cheesecloth, and I'll put this in the sink so that when we're ready to uh, empty the pan, we have it in the sink already. Another thing is if you want, you can put some sort of a container <coughs> underneath the colander uh, because you might want to reserve some of the liquid 
from the uh, regatta uh, in order to add it to it in case the regatta is dry. So we'll check out the consistencies when we get to that point. So if you get a close look at the top of the milk, there's like a foam starting. I know it's probably hard with the white on white, but there's sort of like a foam starting. So when we get to that point, we're getting close to it starting to come to possibly a, a rolling boil. And when we get to that portion, then we'll add, we'll shut off the heat and then we'll add the uh, vinegar. Okay, it's time to close the heat before it overboils. And as you can see, it, it's starting to rise here and you can see all the foam. So what we're going to do is take this off the heat and then we'll add our vinegar. So we'll just move it over. And then we're going to pour in a half a cup of white vinegar. And then we'll stir it around. As you can see like the texture will start to change. So you'll see like this uh, a little yellowish uh, streaks in it. That means that the vinegar is starting to uh, like coagulate the, the milk. And on the sides here it still has the white color of the milk so it needs to set for about five minutes and then we'll uh, pour it out and we'll have the gotta. On this side, there's, you can see almost like a clear liquid, and that means that it's uh, almost done. But I see some of the milk that has not turned, so this is kind of white. So I'm going to add an, another little bit of vinegar to make sure that all of it is uh, uh, curdling or congealing and then we'll let it sit for a little longer until it's done. But it's basically almost done. So you can kind of see what it looks like. So we'll give it just a couple more minutes and then we'll pour it out. When you look into the pot here, you will see that the water uh, is uh, getting that kind of a clear liquid. So we're going to uh, dump this out and uh, we'll have the gotta in a few minutes. Instead of just pouring this into the colander, I'm going to uh, use the slotted spoon to uh, put it in there so that we don't have to worry about any of the hot liquid splattering around. And then you can reserve some of this liquid in case you need to uh, um, well, make it a little less, well, dry, I guess. Um, sometimes if there's too much liquid that's taken out, it might be too dry to uh, eat or be the consistency that you like. But if you make it uh, dry after you can uh, squeeze out more liquid, when it is drier, then you can use it to make cheese with. So regatta can be used for savory dishes or for sweets. And this will make about two pounds of regatta. And it's very economical uh, with the price of milk that is not too expensive now. Uh, you can uh, save some money. Okay, now that we've strained it, uh, we can put it in a bowl and then we can uh, refrigerate it. Uh, this will stay, I would think maybe about a week. And sometimes it depends on how dry you make it. It might even last longer than that. Um, when you put it in the bowl, sometimes the liquid will still be uh, going down to the bottom of the bowl. And that's good because then when you're 
uh, going to use it, just mix it, and then it'll kind of reconstitute itself a little bit. So we can strain it and then pour it in the bowl. And we're done. Happy cooking.